Hi guys and welcome to the channel. So in today's video it's another DC Multiverse figure, um, seems to be a lot of them going on at the moment, um, but we've got from the Batman Arkham Knight range um, another Red Hood figure. Now this is a really um, cool and iconic looking Red Hood from the games. So we shall hasten um, hasten the opening up and get the um, Get the figure out of the box and have a closer look at him. And get the um oh gosh, the tough box open. That was a shame, never mind. It doesn't want to come out this um red hook. The box seems to be a bit there you go. They always come out in the end. So as I said, it's my third red hood figure. I have got the Gotham Knight version and um Another version, which I can't actually remember which series that one was out. Um, so this is the Arkham Knight version. Um, you do get some some special effects there and some punching hands. I'm not going to use them. I don't think um, I don't think he needs them. Um, we'll get the card out and have a closer look at that. But it is a very cool looking Red Hood figure. This one. It's, um, Quite different to the other two I've got, which is always pleasing because you don't want like lots and lots of the same um, the same looking character. So let's have a look at Red Hood. So he's got this um, cool Red Hood jacket on with the old bat symbol on the back. Um, you've again got the bat symbol on the chest, the grey t-shirt underneath, and this sort of grey and black biker jacket. Um, and he's got the red hood, um, hastened to add his name, over his sort of red mask, um, which you can see underneath the hood. Um, but I think the jacket is really, really a cool touch on this. Um, he's then got these um, shin gauntlets over some brown combat trousers. Um, you've also got some sort of um, holsters or like side pods on um, the combat trousers and then he's got a tactical belt um, on the um, on the waist. As with most of the Mac, uh, McFarlane figures, um, he doesn't come with any guns or anything, which which is a bit of a shame because I think he would benefit from having a, um, a gun or two, this figure, but otherwise a really cool looking red hood in, in my opinion. We'll look at the other two that I've got in the collection when we... Um, pop him on display but all in all a very very cool and iconic looking red hood figure um really pleased i managed to um, pick this one up when i spotted it um it was one that i gravitated to quite quickly um i mean not really read much red hood in the um in the stories and i'll see it on the screen in the character i just sort of like i do i do quite like so Really pleased with the Red Hood, so we'll get him on display in a minute, but we'll have a look at his, his fact card. So there is the um, the imagery, and it's pretty much an iconic sort of um, photo of the Red Hood from the um, Arkham series. So, real name Jason Todd, since vanquishing the Arkham Knight persona, Jason Todd was able to lay his um, vengeance against Batman to rest and begin his... Begin to heal the damage that was inflicted on him in Arkham Asylum. It was during this recovery that the Red Hood was born. Now, while he is once again aligned with his former mentor and wanted to rid Gotham City of its criminal contingent, Jason Todd's proclivity for capital punishment will forever keep him keep them at odds. So he is a bit more vengeful than Batman. So some really big words there. We will put that in the file shortly. But um, we will take uh, the Red Hood and get him onto display. Um, I'm quite pleased with that though, because um, I have got the um, the Arkham, sorry, the Arkham Knight actually on the way, so he will display quite well with this Red Red Hood figure. So that's um, quite a bonus. But let's take him, get him on display, and see how he looks with the other figures in the line. So there you can see the um, Red Hood from Arkham Knight added to the um, to the Multiverse collection. Um, as a pan up here, you can see the other two 
um, red hoods in the collection. So definitely a different looking red hood to um, show a mark of difference um, with the figures in the collection. So I always try to do get um, different looking figures um, as there are so many coming out in the multiverse. It is difficult to try and um, get points of difference between the um, between the figures, but that is definitely a red hood that looks different to the other two I have picked up previously. So happy to pick that one up. But as you can see from um, the full panned out um, image, the collection is growing rather rapidly. So really pleased where we're up to at the minute. Um, obviously more figures on the way and we will get them unboxed as they arrived. But um, one last look at the Red Hood before we go and close out this video. So guys, there you have it. Um, the Red Hood, Jason Todd added to the collection. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of this Red Hood figure. How does he compare to the other two Red Hoods that are in the collection already? Um, as I say, I do I do think he does look a really cool and smart looking figure. Um, really pleased to have got it. Um, otherwise, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I, as, as I always say, I appreciate every single one of you who does take the time to um, watch my videos, make comments, um, and um, give them a like. It, it does, um, it does um, make them worthwhile making. Otherwise, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.